And then, let's see about this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Read what it says. <laughs> Why is mommy crying? Why is mommy crying? Huh? Go check on mommy. <laughs> okay. I also received an email from my lawyer today that reads, we would like to inform you that you have an interview appointment scheduled for March of 2023 for my citizen test, citizenship test. So anyway, that's the big news and that's really the purpose of this video. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyways, well, we'll talk about the test Anyway, we're talking. Hey, you! No fussing. Yeah, no fussing. It's a good day. Here, sit yeah. her up here. Let her be a big girl. Come here and be a big girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say, good news all around today. Yeah. Okay, you don't need to play with that. <laughs> here, how about you play with this? Hello and welcome to the channel. As you probably saw the preview of this video, made Margaret cry. And why? Well, because in two months, I will be able- In one month? No, two. Very much. Oh, in one month, <laughs> I will be able to take my citizenship test. Now, if you don't understand why this is a big deal, let's walk down the memory lane just a little bit. So, if you're new here to the channel, I've mentioned this a couple of times. I came to the United States when I was 11 years old. So that's 2013. I went to middle school. I went to high school. I went to college. I went and got my graduate degree and I worked for a company. Then now I work for another company. I got married somewhere in between. I had a baby. Throughout that whole process, I was not an American citizen. So it's been 20 years, 2003, 2023, 20 years in the making. So that's why it's such a big deal and we're pretty <laughs> excited about it. Not too long ago, I made a video at the beach to talk about how we applied to renew my green card because the two years green card had expired and I have to renew for a 10 year green card. After that, we talked to my lawyer and they were like, well, you know, COVID's slowing everything down. We don't really know where it is. And you know it's been what? It's a really long time. Yeah. What was 12 months turn into 18 months and turn into 24 months and turn into 36 months? And here's how that went down, okay? There's a rule that they give you a date and then they have to answer you. So, but by the time they gave me the 18 months notice, they were like, hey, yeah, we'll answer you in 18 months. Like a week later, I receive a letter to say, well, now it's a 24 months notice. So really that was not good. So my lawyer recommended that we went on and apply for my citizenship and take the test and just bypass the whole thing. We're like, okay. So again, right? Just like before you saw the document we had to submit. So this time we just had to submit that much more. We submitted it and then I contacted my lawyer and I was like, hey, so about what time frame are we looking at? She was like, oh, 15 months. The processing time is 15 months. So I told Margaret and this is the look she got. She was like, 15 months. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So what I've been worried about is the fact that we're relying now on this little piece of paper that says it's been extended, but that makes me worry. And of course the alternative of not approving was denying and that gave me nightmares for a really long time. And so, you know, it just, I needed that. She even went as far as looking up hotels and condos in Vietnam because oh, we did. might have to move there. I, did. I, I assured her it was not, but you know, the waiting and the waiting was a long time. So anyways, the lawyer was like, yeah, it'll be 15 months, but the cases we've seen, 
um, we've been seeing it in less than a year. And I was like, okay, less than a year. So I've been projecting. We applied last October. So I've been projecting for next October is when this is going to happen. And I kept telling Margaret, I was like, well, I guess we'll go to Vietnam after that uh, to see my family over there. Today, I was at work and suddenly I got this email from the lawyer and I opened it. And the first thing that it said was, Hey, just a notice for you that your interview date has been scheduled for March. Not an interview. Oh. Yes. yes. That's right. <laughs> he just corrected me on that a few minutes ago. <laughs> your interview appointment scheduled for March 6th for your citizenship test. There will not be any interviews involved. I don't think. I hope not. And then we'll take the test and... Let's get it over with. And then we have to find out if I can go with him or not. That's also a really big deal to me. And we've got to find out some more information like, will they swear him in and will he become a citizen that day? Are they going to put it off? I have lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that, that the internet knows that. But, so, so I'm sure you guys know this. And if you don't know this, basically, there's a test bank out there with 100 questions on there. You have to study that. It's about civic stuff in about the United States history. Like Constitution. What, like where, where, yeah, Margaret knows this, okay? She's well I versed in this. I watched NCIS when Ziva had to take her test. Yeah, she's well versed in immigrations and um, citizenship, Constitution. But there are questions like, why, what, what are the 13 stripes on the flag represent? Who is the current Speaker of the House? Who is your Senate representative? What power does Congress have? And stuff like that, which should not be a big deal, but watch me, I will fail this. Will so I am gonna study the most important tests of my life right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, heat and mass transfer in college has nothing on this. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta take a test, then if there is a swearing ceremony on the day of, they'll go on and swear me in. If there's not, they'll schedule it and we'll come back and get sworn in then. So we gotta figure this out. I don't really know how to figure it out, so we gotta figure it out. I don't know why they don't just all put it in there for you, you know, like all of it. Just if if I were in charge, it would be so organized. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's pretty exciting. We're pretty excited. And I've always said that once I get my citizenship, I'm going to Canada to look at Niagara Falls from the other side. But in March, it's going to be a little too cold. So we're going to wait till the summer. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go in summer. And then, I guess now that that is happening, my flying schedule to Vietnam just freed up. We can go wherever we want, whenever we want. Now that this is done, I will be free to travel. <laughs> So that's the exciting news for everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned because we're going to have more videos about this immigration and citizenship coming up. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.